I'm here at Agent Court Road Public School where Roger Gilmore has built a spectacular rink for everyone to play on. As you can see, we have some people out here playing this beautiful Sunday evening. Mr. Gilmore put a lot of effort into this rink, and it's all for one reason. Like so many of us Canadians, he just loves hockey. Uh, my dad has a, a strong passion for hockey, just like any other Canadian, so decided to build this rink. Uh, takes care of it, lets kids play on all the time. It's good for the community, and uh, just does it because he loves the game. Good Canadian. What Roger Gilmore has built here isn't your average rink. He's put a lot of time and effort into this. Over here we have the school field house, which he's conveniently changed into a dressing room. Uh, we have a long strip of ice so you can skate out to the rink instead of damaging your blades. You don't have to sit in the snow to tie your skates. And all of this certainly doesn't go unappreciated. We interviewed a couple of the kids that play here often just to see how they feel about Mr. Gilmore's work. Oh, Rog, he's a great guy. Can't beat this outdoor rink on a Sunday night. Just us two playing, having a great old time. It's awesome. Thanks a lot. It's obvious that people really appreciate Mr. Gilmore's work here, but I don't think anyone loves it more than he loves it himself. He wants everyone out because you put all this time into the rink, takes good care of it. It's usually a lot of people here. It's a good time. Uh, little kids are out, and then you can, uh, you can get a big hockey game going later, so just encourage uh, anyone possible to come out. So uh, the more the merrier, pretty much. Yep, for sure. So don't be afraid to come on down to Agent Court Road Public School and play a little outdoor hockey on the rink that Mr. Gilmore built for you. No one would be happier than Mr. Gilmore himself if he saw a bunch of people playing down on his rink. It's amazing to see such passion for the game that we call ours. I'm Tom Polite, Algonquin News.